Hello and welcome to this short video on how to record a bill in QuickBooks Online. In this video, we'll talk about how you can record a bill, the purpose of recording a bill, where to go to record the bill, the fields you need to fill in on the bill form, and finally, saving the bill. When a supplier sends you an invoice for goods or services you've bought from them, there's a need to record that in your financial management system, so it can be scheduled to be paid at a later stage. In QuickBooks Online, we refer to this as a bill. Let's step through how you actually record a bill. Once you log into QuickBooks Online, start by clicking on the Create button, which can be found at the top middle. You'll recognise it as the plus symbol. Once you've clicked on that, you're able to create any transaction within QuickBooks Online. To create a bill, under the Supply heading, scroll down until you actually find the bill selection. Click on that. Once the bill form opens, the first thing is to actually record the supplier that has actually sent you the invoice. To do this, click in the supplier field and either start by typing in the supplier's name or alternatively on the right hand side of the box, you have a set of arrows which allows you to scroll up and down for your suppliers. You will notice when choosing the supplier that the mailing address, the terms of that supplier, the billing date as well as the due date are automatically populated. Next enter the bill number which is equivalent to the invoice number that's been sent to you by the supplier. The next step is to select the correct tax option. In this scenario, we'll be selecting inclusive of tax. Now record the goods or services that have been supplied by the supplier. This can be done in either two areas. Here, under the account details section, which relates back to the chart of accounts, or alternatively, if you define, define that product and service, you can go down to the item details and select the item in here. In this example, we'll be recording the cost of a venue to run a function. You'll notice that automatically the description has been filled out, the quantity of one has been filled out, but there is no rate that has been put in. So let's put the rate in. You can also see that from that, we've actually got the total amount of the line item, as well as the GST code. Towards the bottom of the bill form, you'll find space to record a memo, as well as the ability to add an attachment a good use for the attachment field is to add an electronic copy of the invoice that the supplier has actually sent to you. Once you finish with recording the bill, you can either select Save and New, which will shut down the, and save the current window, and open a new bill screen to record another bill, or alternatively you can actually select Save and Close, which will save the current bill and close the window and take you back to the previous screen. Thanks for joining me for this short video on how to record a bill in QuickBooks Online. 